Kevin Warren. You're robbing Ohio State of their national title this year. That's it. That's all I have to say. Anyone else who wins it, it's a joke. It's a hoax. It's not real. You can't take the legitimacy of this season. Like, what? Hello everyone, I'm holding my dog today because he won't let me talk to the camera for five seconds without whining. Say hi, Archie. So, Archie and I have a question. And yes, first off, he's named after Archie Griffin. Is the national title game this year legit? If you go out there and you win the national championship, can you really go home at night and say that you're the best team in the country? I'm gonna answer that for you. The answer is no. No, you can't. How can you? I look like such a mom right now. Okay, I mean, come on. Can you really, at the end of the night, you know, you're out there on the field, the confetti's falling, you're holding up those little nice newspapers saying that you're, you're number one, you're the best team, woohoo, you conquered all, blah, whatever. Um, can you really go to bed that night and say, bro, my brother, my brothers, we did it. The words of Urban Meyer, the chase is complete. No, you can't, you can't say that. You cannot say that when the number one team in contention, possible Heisman, no, definitely a Heisman finalist, possible Heisman trophy winner, Justin Fields, the quarterback, is sitting at home watching it on TV because guess why? Because Kevin Warren. We're not upset. No, we're not. I'm so upset. Some people are starting to ask about it. Granted, who knows what's gonna happen because now apparently there's more rumors going around that the Big Ten might be trying to play. What is this? I have to try and put him down one moment. I, I don't know how you can, as a player, feel like a national title that you win is legitimate. And that's just me. I think it's the athlete in me who doesn't see the legitimacy of it. For instance, say I'm back in college balling up like always and we're in the conference tournament to go to the NCAAs and all of a sudden the top seeded team or the second seeded team is disqualified or they can no longer play and then we end up winning it. It's like, did we really win it? Were we, I mean, right now I would be thrilled. I'd be so happy over the moon, but I also would just be like, did we win it though? I think there'd always be that thought in the back of my mind. Like, did we deserve that? I don't know. Of course, you're probably thinking, Hannah, <laughs> You would be stoked if you won a national title game regardless of the situation, which you're right, you're not wrong. You're definitely accurate in saying that. I'm just talking about the legitimacy of it. And I think a lot of people are starting to as well. You're taking out a national title contender. It's not like you're just wiping out the majority of the Big Ten. Like, sorry at that team up north, you weren't gonna win the title this year. Sorry at Nebraska, at Wisconsin, you weren't going to. I mean, yeah, you probably could have been in the talks. Might have, might have. And now you're not, like, you're taking out Ohio State, you're taking out Justin Fields, you're taking out a team who is out for blood after the way they finished their season last year. It sucks too, reading everything from Ryan Day and all the coaches and the teammates that this team is different, this team is built different, they have a fight in them. We could have potentially seen one of the best teams to come through Ohio State in a while. And it sucks knowing that that's not gonna happen. And I think it's just, it, the more teams that drop out, the more conferences that drop out, if any more power five conferences drop out, can you really say that the national title game is legit? And I saw the college football committee release the schedule for the bowl games and the national title game and it sucked. First off, it stung really bad, it hurt. Cause I was like, thanks Kevin Warren. But do you know, I'm just like, this is not real. This is not happening. There is not a football season that Ohio State's not a part of, but there is. If I'm Clemson, if I'm, out, if I'm Alabama, I just don't know if a national title game is legit without having all eligible teams on board. That's just me. That's my personal opinion. I don't think it's legit. And you're probably saying, Hannah, you literally bleed scarlet and gray. No, you're right, I do. I legitimately bleed scarlet and gray. But I hold firm in the fact, I think I would say the same thing, vice versa. If we're not playing against Clemson or LSU or Alabama or Notre Dame, because remember they're really good, so is UCF. Now I know what it's like to be a UCF fan because they went 12-0 that year and they technically should have been national champions. Not. If the Big Ten does not play football this fall, you cannot say that the national title game is legit. Sorry, you can't. You can't. Um, because you're taking out, like I said, Justin Fields and Ohio State. You're taking out a team that has the potential to be one of the greatest Ohio State teams, period. Hands down. You, I just, ugh. if you do that, you're working on taking out one of, what could be 
literally one of the greatest Ohio State teams. So if you do that, I don't think it's legit. I don't think it's legit. That's not me being some biased, on my pedestal, obnoxious Ohio State fan. That's me literally saying, you are taking out one of the best teams in the country, and then you're going to just say, yeah, the national title was legit. This fire for college football is definitely gone for me. It's hard. Um, I was watching uh, on ESPN, they're, they were just interviewing different people, and and when the analyst was saying, like, yeah, I'll watch football, but in terms of the playoffs and the national title game, he goes, I'll definitely watch it, but he said, I don't think I'm, I'm going to be as invested, which is what sparked this question of, I don't think it's legit. He didn't really think it was legit. He definitely questioned it, and I got to thinking, yeah, I don't think it's legit either. Okay, I think that's all I have. In the meantime, please wear your mask in public because football and uh always remember bucks by 90.